Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be restoring this Hot Wheels Lamborghini Countach and then I'm going to be heading to Monza in Italy to have a quick race with some other Lamborghinis. Hot Wheels produced this model from 1988 through till 1996 and then started producing it again in 2011 right through till today as you can see this example is pretty play worn and it's missing the rear wing a nice chunky sort of a model so that solid metal base on it there but at the same time it's a typical sort of 80s hot wheel it's a little bit rough and this was a color change pink one from all the way back in 1988 when they first came out. There's two rivets in them to drill out and I should be able to take it all apart. So I'll just pop the base off there. And there's the interior section and the windscreen. wing on these older versions was a separate casting that's riveted on there later on they changed it so the whole thing was one casting including the wing it's a little piece of it that's left i use some paint stripper to strip the paint off further clean up and a burnishing with the wire brush on my rotary tool. Next it was time to drill out the posts so I could put in some screws to hold it together later on and this is real time it seemed to be very soft metal because my drill just went straight through and out the bonnet so that's a bit of a pain, I have to repair that, it's not much of a big deal though. And yeah, it's very soft metal. Alright, so I drill them out with 1.7mm drill and then I'm using a 256 tap here to tap them. And to fix the hole in the bonnet, I'm going to use some Starbond Thick Super Glue. There's a link where you can get 10% off down in the description below. So I've put a screw into the hole there and I fill it up a bit with the thick super glue and use a little bit of activator there. You don't have to. And then once it was cured, I can just sand it down. So it's nice and smooth now, but it's actually highlighted just how rough the casting is up the front there where those headlights are. So I'll give it a little bit of a filing with my needle file and some further sanding, smooth it off a little bit more. As I mentioned earlier, these 80s Hot Wheels often weren't of the highest quality. Next you can see here the inside of those rear wheel wells and I've ground them out just using a sanding drum on my Dremel. And that's so that I can have the wheels sitting a bit wider without them banging up against that ridge there. There they go. I've sanded them both out and it doesn't look any different from the outside 
Next, I'll fix the holes in the rear where the wing was attached. To do that, I'm using some milliput. Build it up and fill in the holes, then leave it for a few hours to cure. Then I just filed and sanded it back down smooth. There we go. Next, I used some styrene sheet to make a new wing for the rear. I just glued that on using some super glue. Onto the base now. First thing I'll do is pop the old wheels and axles out. Well, they might not have been the tidiest castings ever, but they did use usually big thick chunks of metal. Alright, so I'll give this a clean up with the wire brush as well. It is looking nice and shiny now. And that's our castings ready for some paint. Start out with some white primer. Then a nice classic red. Not really keen on pink. And for the detailing, I've printed out some little decals. Detail the vents and the headlights etc and similarly the base was hit with a white primer and then red here's the interior it's a little bit grubby so i gave it a quick wash and then painted it tan and i detailed the dash there in black the windscreen it's a little bit scuffed and it's got some sort of white stuff stuck around a the wiper there. I don't know what that is. Use skewer here to scrape it out. Then I gave the windscreen a light sanding. Get the worst of the scuffing out. Then onto a good polish with some plastic polish. And here's how that came out looking. And finally, these are the wheels I'm going to replace the original ones with. I haven't got any similar to the proper Lamborghini wheels. But these were a good size. I think they look pretty cool. Right, so here's all the parts of our little Hot Wheels Lamborghini Countach refurbished repainted and ready to go back together while i'm reassembling that let's just take a quick look back at what we started with worn out faded pink old contage it's made it here all the way from the 80s but it's definitely not looking its best so let's give it a bit of a makeover and see if we can get it back ready for the road and here it is, our finished, restored and customised Hot Wheels Lamborghini Countach. Tidied up, repainted in red. So that broken wing replaced. And a nice new set of wheels. I think it's looking a little bit more like a classic Italian 80s supercar now. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And keep watching after a short photo roll. We head off to Italy and Monza. Where I'm going to try and make it through a quick race against some other Lamborghini Countaches. As always a big thanks to my Patreons for helping to support the show. And a really big thanks to you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe.
back and thanks for hanging around. Here we are in Italy and Monza Raceway. You can see I've set up a quick race. There's nine other Lamborghini Contages here. I figured Italy be as good a place as any to race some Italian supercars. Okay, there's the lights are out and we're off. So the Lamborghini Countach, it's definitely not a race car. Um, it doesn't handle very well at all. The slightest mistake, pretty much, and you'll just lose control into this first corner. A bit of a crapshoot around here. I've made up a few places. I'll be able to keep them, I don't know. Now I can keep my foot to the floor, up through the gears, and the curve of Grande. Now there's a tight chicane coming up, so I'm slowing down as hard as I can through the gears into it in second, and then I can chop down into first. Right in the middle there. All right now, breaking hard in a straight line into this curve, then down into second. Making sure to do my heel toe rev matching in this car, otherwise, the rear end will just shoot right out on me. Foot flat to the floor again, down the straight. Front's still pulling away from me. And then another chicane coming up here. Coming into it as fast as I dare in second. Smoothly avoiding the curbs. And then I can chop up into third. Right as I come out of the corner, try and use some of the torque of that V12. Breaking down into second. A little bit of understeer there. I'm trying to come around that parabolica as fast as I can. Missing the apex a little bit there. But I mean, really, honestly, this car it handles terribly, so pretty happy just to keep it on the track. Breaking again into that first chicane. Can pick up any time on the cars ahead. And really make sure you've straightened the car up before you put the foot down. Or really the rear end just goes out on you. Making up any time on the car ahead, I think. Um, keeping in front of the cars behind, so that's something. It's um, it's not really a car. I find that you can decide you're going to push as soon as you start sort of driving outside the limit a little bit. You just lose control and the car will spin out on you. Will be over for much. The cars in front are really getting away on me. I don't think much chance of better placing at this rate unless they have a major accident. Whoa, there we go. Look at that. That's how easy it happens. I don't know what happened there. AI made a mistake. 
me up into third place. Can I hang on to it? So it's one of the more difficult tracks to race, or at least for me personally. There's a lot of hard braking and then trying to squeeze as much speed as you can out of short straights and back into hard braking. And a lot of the corners are sort of deceptively long and it's, it's easy to overdo it. from the cars behind and then they'll tend to catch up to me but so you can tell there's areas I'm not getting the most speed out of oh no there goes two cars past me totally miss the apex in that corner and it's a thing it lose concentration for a second and that can be all it takes see how much the cars spread out the slightest mistake you know and you just lose so much momentum in this car so trying to push it just that little bit extra make up some time oh I didn't feel good of it no I've lost it oh no there you go that's how easy it happens luckily I'm far enough in front of the car behind that I can stay in front of them for now but obviously I've lost all chance of catching up with the two who passed me before car behind it's right on my tail there he goes oh, he was just more committed through there than me I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up with any of the cars. 
cars in front. Oh, they actually look like that green car a little bit sideways there. And so do I. Blips, whoop, locking it up there a little bit. Look out, getting a little bit squirrely through there. Still falling back from the guy in front. Um, don't think I'm going to lose another place, so that's all right. Seventh place. Not exactly the best result, but really, how difficult that car is to drive. I'm pretty happy just to make it through the race at all. Let's see my lap times there 216. The best, I think. It's not that great. You can see my best lap times. Under 15 seconds there, so a bit faster in practice. Anyway, it was great fun. Real challenging car to drive around, quite a challenging track. And if you'd like to have a go yourself, check out Assetto Corsa. I'm pretty sure the Lamborghini there and the Monza track just come with the base game. So I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.